This video is sponsored by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer. Wow, guys, check this out. Noble Gold, one of the sponsors of our show, has just been picked by Consumer Affairs, the rating agency, as the overall number one gold IRA company in the U.S. Talk to the team today if you're thinking of precious metals. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold-proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. Students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. You don't get a car! 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 Both of these targeted actions are for families who need it the most, making under $125,000 a year. $125,000? Just imagine if it's a two-person income. What a bargain! That means that people who paid off their loans, people who went into the military and lost limbs so they could pay for college, and people who just chose not to go to college are going to be paying for this. Is this unfair to people who paid their student loans or chose not to take out loans? Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own multi-billion dollar businesses and see why these guys get them all attacked? Is that fair? What? What do you think? What about people who pay their loans, though, struggle to pay their loans, and now others don't have to? But just to, the final one on this, sure. the people that already paid their student loans, right. they don't get anything out of this deal. Right. That's right, okay. Why did you structure this policy in a way that would provide up to $40,000 in debt for a married couple making up to $249,000? I mean, why include folks who have gone to post-grad, you know, law school or, or business school? Is that really bottom up, middle out? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> About the student loans, how can the country afford such a massive handout? Yeah, well, you know, uh, who is paying for this? What we are saying is the the work that this administration has done, the work that the Democrats in Congress has done, is actually there, and you see that the 1.7 trillion uh, deficit in deficit uh, deduction that you see is is going to benefit us in being able to do something for the middle class. For this you. is about doing something for people who make less than $125,000. But when you Give debt. You're not just disappearing debt. So but, who is paying for but, this? I'm going to ask one question. My daughter's getting out of school. I saved all my money. She doesn't have any student loans. Am I going to get my money back? Of course not. So you're going to pay for people who didn't save any money, so and listen. those of us that did the right thing get screwed. No, it's not even like that. We of started course we did. My buddy had fun, bought a car, went on vacations. I saved my money. He made more than I did. But I work a double shift, work extra. My daughter's work sheet is 10. So you're laughing. Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. We did the right thing and we get screwed. Is this even legal? I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but according to Nancy Pelosi. People think that the president of the United States, is this more on the subject than you ever want to know? Will you let me know? People think that the president of the United States has the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone, he can delay, but he does not have that power. That would has to be an act of Congress. Um, but what about President Biden's campaign to forgive or cancel a $10,000 of student debt? Debt, pardon me. Um, you know, what is the message to those people who feel uh, that he's yet to follow through on that promise? If Congress sends him a bill, he's happy to sign it. They haven't sent him a bill on that yet. It would be nice if the media replayed this clip endlessly while scrutinizing Biden's decree. Instead, we'll be treated to a two-tier system of historical record. And this clip will only be seen on those far-right conspiracy networks. After all, these are the same people who keep redefining words in an obvious attempt to cover up Democrat failures, just like they will when this move actually ends up increasing tuition. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. All those things help this channel a lot. And then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks so much.